today we are going to discuss about domain and range on my channel mathematical clinic by subhash as we know domain of any function is domain of function f is denoted by df this one is the set of pre images such that the image exists and range of function f is denoted by rf and it is defined as the set of images fx for which pre image x exists first of all i would like to tell you to exist means what to exist means it should not be three type first second and third first one is infinity plus infinity or minus infinity second one is indeterminate 0 upon 0 infinity upon infinity infinity minus infinity <coughs> 0 into infinity 1 to the power infinity infinity to the power 0 0 to the power 0 and third one is it should not be imaginary it means any negative number inside the square root so we came to the conclusion that to find domain is to find the value of x and first thing where to find to find along the real line real line is r is from minus infinity to plus infinity it means we are going to find x from minus infinity to plus infinity <coughs> for the domain one we select such type of x from this real line by substituting which in given question one f fx the result so come it means the value of fx so come should not be either indeterminate or infinite or imaginary it means domain is such x from the set of real number after the substitution of which in the given function one fx one the value of of fx so come should not be infinite indeterminate and imaginary by the similar manner to find the range of f means to find fx and again where to find fx to find fx from minus infinity to plus infinity we keep such fx in this set one range z one after the substitution of which the value of x so come should not be either infinite or indeterminate or imaginary we are going to do some of the, some of the examples here it will make the concept clear <clears throat> for example i am taking first example fx equal to 1 upon x what is the domain of this function let us see in the real number from minus infinity to plus infinity there is 0 in between them if we substitute x equal to 0 here x equal to 0 here then the value of fx becomes 1 upon 0 equal to infinity which destroy our first condition one so we cannot keep x equal to 0 in the domain of this function one if you substitute any number from minus infinity to plus infinity other than 0 here in place of x then the value of fx will not be either infinite or indeterminate or imaginary so domain of this function becomes domain of function f becomes all the real number other than zero for the range one for the range one we substitute fx equal to y so the result becomes y equal to one upon x simplify it do the cross multiplication x into y equal to one and find the value of x this is the process of finding the domain we find x in terms of y now let us check <coughs> can you substitute y equal to 0 
if you substitute y equal to 0 here then the result becomes x becomes 1 upon 0 equal to infinity so you cannot keep a y equal to 0 in the range of this function if you substitute y equal to any real number other than 0 from minus infinity to plus infinity in this question 1 the value of x so come will not be either infinite or indeterminate or imaginary so range of this function also becomes all the real number other than zero. this is the first example <coughs> now let us move towards the second one <coughs> second example one is let us find the domain and range of fx equal to x square minus 4 divided by x minus 2 very simple let us consider here if you substitute x equal to 2 the result becomes 2 to the power 2 equal to 4 minus 4 that is 0 upon 2 minus 2 equal to 0 that one is the indeterminate the second one so we cannot put x equal to 2 in the domain of this function if you substitute x equal to any real number other than 2 then the result so come will not be either infinite or indeterminate or imaginary so domain of this function becomes all the real number other than 2 now I am going to tell you the mechanism of finding the range of this function if you simplify this function it becomes fx equal to x minus 2 into x plus 2 divided by x minus 2 let us cancel x minus 2 and then you are left with fx equal to x plus 2 now in this type of equation the algebraic function taking the form 0 upon 0 to find the range we must consider what should not be kept in the domain 1 we have seen here that 2 cannot be kept here in the domain so let us substitute x equal to 2 here if you substitute x equal to 2 then the value of fx becomes 2 plus 2 equal to 4 since 2 cannot be kept in the domain of this function the image of 2 relating to the function 4 cannot be kept in the range of the function 1 so required range of function f becomes all the real number other than this 4 1 once again I am going to tell you from the beginning the function is fx equal to x square minus 4 divided by x minus 2 if you substitute x equal to 2 here then the value becomes 0 upon 0 so x equal to 2 cannot be kept in the domain of this function so the domain becomes all the real number other than 2 for the range 1 we write the function factorize it write x minus 2 into x plus 2 in place of x square minus 4 x minus 2 as it is here x minus 2 are cancelled so the result has become fx equal to x plus 2 cause we are unable to keep x equal to 2 that is 2 in the domain of this function let us substitute x equal to 2 here result come 4 cannot be kept in the range of the function so the range becomes all the real number other than 4 this is the second example one let us move to third one <coughs> I'm going to write another function here fx equal to under root x minus 1 I had already told you that the value should not be either infinite infinite means plus infinity or minus infinity indeterminate it is 0 upon 0 infinity upon infinity and so on and third one imaginary means under root negative here you can consider whatever you place in place of x from the real line because there is no denominator it is not going to be infinity because infinity is something upon 0 something upon 0 is infinity and cause you cause there is no denominator no open so it cannot be infinite so no tension about the first first point one even since there is no denominator it, it will also not be indeterminate the only one thing we have to consider is cause there is the square root this number x minus 1 may be imaginary while substituting x equal to some real number so our target is to remove such x from the real line after the substitution of which here in the equation the result becomes a negative one so in you know in uh, short we can say that this would not be negative 
x minus 1 should not be negative x minus 1 should not be negative less than 0 means negative should not be negative if x minus 1 is not negative not less than 0 then what's x minus 1 x minus 1 is either greater than 0 or equal to 0 let us simplify it from here we are able to write x is greater than or equal to 1 greater than or equal to 1 means what in the real line there will be 1 and all the numbers greater than 1 is in this side of 2 where of 2 infinity so the domain of this function becomes from the closed interval 1 1 can be kept because if you substitute x equal to 1 here then 1 minus 1 is 0 and square root of 0 is 0 that's the real number 1 so 1 can be kept here that is why closed interval up to infinity this one is the domain of this function now for the range let us substitute fx equal to y for range if you substitute fx equal to y the result becomes y equal to under root x minus 1 let us square both sides it will be y squared equal to x minus 1 simplify it and find the value of x as we did in the last question here value of x becomes y squared plus 1 now we can say which real numbers are going to satisfy this condition if you substitute y equal to any real number from minus infinity to plus infinity if a negative square square is positive one and if this one is a positive one the result is positive so the value of x so come will not be either infinite or indeterminate or imaginary however we cannot keep negative numbers in the range of this function always remember if question is given any expression inside the square root then while finding range 1 negative negative portion of the real line should be omitted negative portion means minus infinity to 0 this should be removed then what are left whatever what are we left with we are left with from 0 to infinity and cause all the real number from 0 to infinity are going to satisfy the condition we have mentioned if you substitute y equal to any real number from 0 to infinity here the value of x so come is neither infinite nor indeterminate nor imaginary the range of this function becomes range of this function becomes all the real number from 0 to infinity <coughs> let us discuss about some more questions discuss some more questions we are going to write another example one here i am going to write fx equal to x squared plus 5x plus 6 let us find the domain and range of this function one because there is no open you can take any real number it will not take the value infinity if you substitute x equal to anything here from the real line any real number if you put x equal to any real number from real line here then the value of fx so come will not be infinity because there is no denominator again it is not going to take indeterminate form so no tension about first and second point we had written on last question one even because there is no square root it is not going to take the imaginary value it means all the real number if you put any real number from minus infinity to plus infinity in place of x in this question one the the result fx so come will not be either infinite or indeterminate or imaginary so domain of this function is all the real number all the real number means from minus infinity to plus infinity just let us discuss about the range for the range one the similar process uh, we followed in last question one substitute fx equal to y it will be y equal to x squared plus 5x plus 6 let us take y on the right side the result becomes x squared plus 5x plus 6 minus y equal to 0 if we regard y as constant then we can say that this one is a quadratic equation in x and this equation will have a real root if it's b squared minus 4 is non-negative non-negative means greater or equal to 0 
Let us substitute v plus b here is 5, 5 for the square is 25, minus 4, a is 1, not to be written, and c is 6 minus y, which is greater or equal to 0. Let us simplify. 25 minus 6 for the 24 plus 4y is greater or equal to 0. 25 minus 24 is 1 plus 4y is greater or equal to 0. From here we can write 4y is greater or equal to minus 1. That is y. y is greater or equal to minus 1 upon 4. So range of the function is the real number. Suppose this one is minus 1 upon 4. Greater than minus 4. 1. Greater than minus 4 minus all the real number on the right of minus 1 by 4 up to where? Up to infinity. So the range of the function becomes closed interval minus 1 by 4 up to where? Infinity 1. <coughs> Let us discuss some more questions. I am going to take another question 1. fx equal to modulus of x minus 2 divided by x minus 2. Very simple. If we substitute x equal to 2 here, then the value of fx is going to be 0 upon 0, indeterminate 1, destroying the second condition we had discussed. So, x equal to 2 cannot be kept in the domain of this function. But if you substitute x equal to any real number other than 2, then the result will come is neither going to be infinite, nor indeterminate, nor imaginary. So, the domain of this function becomes all the real number other than to. Now we are going to find the range 1. Let us think. Let us substitute x equal to here. x equal to any number other than 2. First of all, I am going to substitute x equal to 5. What will be the value of f5? It is 5 minus 2 modulus divided by 5 minus 2. This one is 3 upon 3 equal to 1. Now let us going to uh, let us substitute any negative number, for example, minus 5. What will be the result? It will be minus 5 minus 2 modulus divided by minus 5 minus 2. So it is minus 5 minus 2 is minus 7 and cos there is the modulus it is 7 upon minus 7 equal to minus 1. So you can simply think substitute any number any real number other than 2 here the value of fx is going to be either plus 1 or minus 1. That is why it ends of the function is the set minus 1 and 1. Minus one comma one. We are going to discuss.